Let's look at an easy way to multiply single digit numbers here. And I'm going to start off with 7 times 7. Now we can take this and basically a little trick. This is a well known trick. We can take 7 plus 3 equals 10. And we can say the same thing 7 plus 3 equals 10. And we're going to just every time we're going to try to make these numbers equal 10. And the trick is I can do this. So 3 subtracted from 7, so if I subtract this way, or I can subtract this way, in this case it's the same. So I can take those two and, and I can get my 10s right here. So I can say 7 minus 3 equals 4, right? So then I take a 4, so 40 really. And then I say, well, what is 3 times 3 equals 9? So the answer would be 49. 7 times 7 equals 49. So it's kind of a little trick there. Now we have 7 times 8 equals same thing. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. And I can do either 7 minus 2 or I can do 8 minus 3. Notice they're the same um, answer, right? So we can do 7 minus 2 equals 5. So let's put our 50 here. And then all I have to do is 3 times 2 equals 6. So my answer is 7 times 8 equals 56. 9 times 9 equals, so we just do this, 9, time, or 9 plus 1 equals 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10 again. So then we go 9 minus 1 equals 8, right? So it's, our answer is going to be 80 something, and we look right here, 1 times 1 is 1. So our answer is 81. So when you get lower than 7, so I have 7 times 6 now equals, so now the 6 presents a little bit of a problem, but it's not too bad. So I go 7 plus 3 equals 10, and then I go 6 plus 4. 4 equals 10. All of a sudden, though, you see that now I have a double digit here. Let's do this first. 7 minus 4 or 6 minus 3, the same, is equal to 3. So now you're like, hmm, I know that this isn't 30 something. But then I take my 3 times 4 um, equals 12. So now I have a double digit here. So I'm going to go like this and add my 12 to my 3, so now I have 42, so the answer is 42. So that's a little bit different, so it's not as slick for the numbers um, below 7, but it still works. So we have 8 times 8 equals, so we have 8 plus 2 equals 10, and we have 8 plus 2 equals 10 again, so this one's easy, so we've got 8 minus 2 equals 6, and then 2 times 2 equals 4. So the answer is 64. So here's another tricky one. We have 6 times 9. We know 6 plus 4 equals 10. And we know that 9 plus 1 equals 10. So now we have to first do our 6 minus 1 or 4 minus 9, same thing, right? So we're going to get 5 right there. And then we're going to have 4 times 1 equals 4. Actually, not as tricky as we thought it would be. So 54. Let's try 5 times 7. So 5 plus 5 equals 10, and 7 plus 3 equals 10, and we're going to do 5 minus 2 or 7 minus 5, either way equals 2. You can see the trick coming here because we have a greater number, we have double digit here, 5 times 3 equals 15. So we now take this and add those two together and we have 35. All right, here's another one, 9 times 8. We've got 9 plus 1 equals 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. If I do 9 minus 2, I have 7. And then I go 1 times 2 
equals 2. So I have 72. 9 times 8 is 72. 8 times 6 equals what? 8 plus 2 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. I can do 8 minus 4 equals 4. And then I have 2 times 8 equals, I mean 2 times 4 equals 8. So the answer is 48. 7 times 9, 7 plus 3 equals 10, 9 plus 1 equals 10, 7 minus 1 equals 6, 3 times 1 equals 3. So the answer is 63. 5 times 9, 5 plus 5 equals 10, 9 plus 1 equals 10, 5 minus 1 equals 4, and 5 times 1 equals 5, 45. 6 times 5 equals 6 plus 4 equals 10, 5 plus 5 equals 10. 6 minus 5 equals 1. So you can see this one's going to be a little bit trickier. 4 times 5 equals 20. So if I add that together, I get 6 times 5 equals 30. 8 times 7 equals... So we have 8 plus 2 equals 10. We have 7 plus 3 equals 10. And if I do 8 minus 3 equals 5. And 2 times 3 equals 6. So the answer 8 times 7 is 56.